The Satanic Temple is saying Satanic abortions are protected by religious liberty laws. Okay, let's see what their argument is. Here's the summary. Um, the Satanic Temple is announcing that all first trimester abortions must be exempt from uh, exempt from state regulation that hinder access uh, to the procedure because such hurdles violate two of their seven fundamental tenets regarding bodily autonomy and adherence to best scientific practices. <laughs> the, satani the Satanists say the Religious Freedom Resolution Act, or RFRA, prohibits the government from interfering with someone's religious practices by saying abortions in the first trimesters are a religious ritual for their members any states um any states that have their own rf ra laws and um and most anti abortion states have them would theoretically have to show why their restrictions should override the satanist religious freedom i love this so much this is the version of playing you know, reverse an uno when it comes to religion, <laughs> you know, when it comes to the religious um, privilege, this is like a reverse card in uno. But, I mean, just to be clear to people who don't know, the satanic temple is not a real religion. It's a, it's, these are a bunch of atheists who are, kind of pretending to be religious because they actually, I mean, they are, they have their rituals and everything, but they don't actually believe that devil is real. They don't believe in superstitious, uh, superstitious, superstitious nonsense and stuff. They just, you like the symbolism. Uh, they're mostly atheists and they believe in like separation of church and state and, you know, the scientific method and all of that. Right. But the beautiful thing about them is that every time in the United States, there's you know religious privilege you know when 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 organizations like the freedom from religion foundation uh, fail to stop like when the first step is usually the freedom from religion foundation when they try to uh you know uphold separation of church and state but when they if if they ever fail i think the satanic temple comes in and tries to show the hypocrisy because for a lot of this religious privilege that you know christians have in the United States, it's mostly for Christianity, right? Like they act like, oh, this is about freedom, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as Islam or the Satanic Temple moves in, they all of a sudden they lose their mind. And again, we can't, we don't want to play this game with them to show their hypocrisy with Islam because we don't like Islam either. But that's why the Satanic Temple is such a perfect way because the Christians, like, they are scared of the Satanic Temple, right? When, when you led religion in school and be like, well, we should, freedom, 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 let's have like, teach children should be able to we should have be able to have bible lessons in school the satanic temple comes in and like well you said religion you didn't say christianity the laws should make be equal for everybody and then all of a sudden your kids get exposed to satanic rituals and stuff like that and then the christian moms and dads lose their mind and then they see why secular they, all of a sudden they realize how sec, why secularism is so important but this one is great because now Every time they say like, oh, abortion because of, you know, you, you can't force us to have like, I don't know, uh, f government funded, um, you know, abortion or fa family planning and stuff because this is against our religious freedom or religious uh, practices or belief, deeply held belief, as Rifka usually says. Um, but the satanic temple is like, well, guess what? Our deeply held belief is that this is our religious views and you guys have to tell us why um you are discriminating against our religious views this is like a ritual this is a sacred thing for us um and yeah rifka you want to say something i'm going to actually see that exact wording um so this this is a, a big thing that the satanic temple does and they've done this thing with the abortion, um, they sued the state of Missouri once over their abortion laws. It was in 2019 um, <clears throat> so, uh, regarding the waiting period, saying it's unscientific and unscientific uh, information violates mm. their religious tenets. 
It's against their beliefs. So they, they lost the first time the abortions and this, now they're appealing uh, the portions in the science. Now they're appealing on the unscientific. They've um, done this uh, and won in Florida. There was a school that was giving out Bibles and Christian information to kids and the school board ruled they could. Well, the satanic temple sued. The judge said, well, you have to let them give out their manual. So they were giving out little, you know, little Johnny's guide to, you know, uh, Baphomet or whatever the say. Well, all of a sudden then people got so butthurt that someone else was doing it, that the school just said, you know what? No one's giving out any pamphlets and the satanic said, okay, fine. Because exactly what you said, they're trying to point out, well, you don't really believe in religious freedom. You believe in it only for you. So, and this particular, uh, instance uh, as well, with the um that they've just done now with it being part of their tenants and then they actually are now an actual recognized by the government religion so this gives them even more of a platform to talk about their deeply held beliefs and the religious freedom acts which are in oftentimes really just amount to christian privilege right P2020 uh, 2020 is saying on, on, on Twitch, by the way, guys, follow us, uh, follow us on Twitch. Uh, he's saying, uh, man, the, sat the Satanists are the ultimate prank mas uh, masters on church versus state matters. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they are. Uh, um, Justin Vakula is saying, I really like this uh, Satanic Temple. The documentary Hell, Sa Hell Satan was great. Now available on Amazon for about three dollars to rent. If you can't beat religion, fight them with their own games like the satanic, um, like satanic abortions. Yeah, um, yeah. It, it, is this a new thing, by the way, that they're making? Um, what is it? They're saying that se the, one of some of their seven fundamental tenets is regarding bodily autonomy. I know bodily autom autonomy was there from the beginning. But now they are saying adherence to the best scientific practice. I love that they made that their religious tenets. Like anything that is unscientific. Now because of this, anything that is unscientific is discrimination against the satanic temple. So anything that is unscientific is now also against religion. <laughs> this is so good. And it's really so important good. too because so many of these restrictive laws against uh, choice for, uh, you know, whether you want to carry a baby or not have an abortion are unscientific. You know, they tell women you get breast cancer, you have to wait, you have to, you know, all these things, it'll cause you not to be able to have more babies. There's all this non-science information out there as part of some of the state sponsored like, tape that you are recording that you have to listen to where they tell you all these things. So yeah, it's a very, uh, very innovative and effective way to um, fight the encroachment of theocracy. Um, Justin is saying satanic invocations was awesome too. David Suhor of Florida was great with the, with us. All right, Shab Shabham. Yeah, so I wanted to mention that uh, the article we posted was from Hemant, and he actually asked a professor of law at the University of Miami, uh, Carolyn Malacorbin, about this, and she said that there could be two problems with this. And what she said is the first problem would be a patient uh, would have to establish that the abortion ritual is a sincere religious practice, and a court may reject that claim. So here's the thing uh, she said, after all, the member of the satanic temple is arguing that an abortion is akin to a sacrament. A hostile court may con also conclude that beliefs about autonomy and science, while sincere, are secular rather than religious. Though it would be wading into murky territory by declaring that sincere beliefs are not religious, as courts are generally wary of drawing a line between religious beliefs and non-religious beliefs. So she said, that could be a problem, but uh, the courts are usually hesitant about drawing a line between religious and non-religious beliefs because anything could be possible. And the second point she made was a patient would have to show that the abortion restrictions substantially burden her religious practice. While after Hobby Lobby courts are supposed to be differential to religious objectors, claims of substantial burden 
I can imagine that courts may argue otherwise. Example, waiting a day or two does not prevent the abortion. At the same time, if a court is willing to accept an abortion as a ritual, religious ritual akin to communion, then requiring people to wait several days before they're allowed to receive it should amount to a substantial burden. Of course, the satanic temple was careful to make clear that the abortion ritual was more than the abortion itself, strengthening its claim that state's regulations interfered with the whole ritual. So because the satanic temple already suggested that the abortion ritual, there's an entire ritual, because they have this ritual, like Armin said before, they have these rituals, it's because they have these rituals that they can get this done. Because if they didn't have the rituals, it would just be a simple abortion and they might have lost it, the case. Yeah, the ritual is important to make them officially a religion. Rivka? I wanted to say this is very interesting because the argument from the attorney was a court may not view their perception of what's a sacrament or part of the religion as religious and may say, oh, it's actually secular, these views, which I, if I were the attorney, would argue that's actually invalid based on the precedent that the Supreme Court just set saying those crosses are secular as well. So are those deeply held beliefs secular? But so then if those deeply held beliefs are secular, then when I say I can't sell you the abo the, the abortion pill because of my religious beliefs, no, actually those are secular beliefs. Do you see what I'm saying? Like they're, which is her point about not wanting to muddy the waters, which they've already done by claiming the crosses that were up were secular. So now we've got this merging. So anything really that you claim is your deeply held belief, if someone says it's secular, well, are you questioning my religious deeply held beliefs? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I haven't fleshed out the whole argument completely, but when you said it, it made me think of the court ruling that a religious symbol is secular. Now they want to say that you know, for when it worked for them, but when it doesn't work for them, then secularism, you see what I mean? But anyways, that's right. my... Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm need, I'm going to read AGA's comment and then we can move on. AGA is saying the satanic temple is awesome at twisting the laws of Christians for their own means, uh, forcing the Christians to retreat. And she also says, hey, all Satan. Um, okay, cool. Let's news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You may, we think is no, and oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff, we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So, to solve that. Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 